The Indian Air Force has said that the Tejas light combat aircraft has showcased superior flying ability, maneuverability and ease of handling at the Dubai Air Show 2021. The Tejas was the star attraction after showcasing amazing flying display, while the Pakistani JF-17 was missing from the air show. Both the Tejas and JF-17 were also given slots next to each other for static display at the Bahrain International Air Show 2016, but Pakistan had pulled out of the air show at the last minute without giving out exact reasons. Similarly, after the arrival of Tejas in Lima 2019 in Malaysia, Pakistan had also pulled back the Chinese-designed and built JF-17, even after confirming its slot in the air show. The Defence Procurement Board will take up the case for the acquisition of 30 Predator drones worth 20,000 crore rupees for the three armed services at a high-level meeting today. If the acquisition is cleared in today's meeting, it would be forwarded to the Defence Acquisition Council for final approval, and then it will go to the Cabinet Committee on Security for final approval, that will be followed by signing of the contract. Russia has started supplying the S-400 systems to India, and the first S-400 unit will be deployed in a location where it can counter aerial threats from both the Pakistani and Chinese airspace. A number of S-400 components are coming via air and sea routes, and the delivery of the first squadron would be completed by the end of this year, and the first unit will become fully operational by February 2022. Russia will also offer the S-500 next-generation surface-to-air missile systems to India at the Indo-Russian Annual Bilateral Summit on 6 December. The DRDO is working on a supercavitating torpedo, which is a torpedo that uses the effect of supercavitation to create a bubble around the torpedo, which helps it to reduce the drag via effect of cavitation, that helps it to move at high velocity underwater. Supercavitating torpedo can achieve speeds as high as 400 km per hour by using rocket motor, and they are also steerable. Lockheed Martin held a two-day conference with 300 of its local suppliers and partners in Bengaluru, during which the vice president and chief executive of Lockheed Martin India has said that the company is well placed to partner with Indian entities in areas of unmanned platforms, artificial intelligence, quantum computing and machine learning, and he also pitched a highly customized F-21 fighter jet with highest level of indigenization, and the proposed Indian production facility will also cater to the export market. Officials have said that the Indian Army has received 89 out of the total 145 M777 howitzers ordered in 2016, and the remaining 56 howitzers will also be delivered by June 2022. The Army has also deployed the K-9 Vajra in the Ladakh sector, after carrying out minor changes in the howitzers. A Chinese military analyst has said that the Indian government's plan to deploy the BrahMos missile at the India-China border would add new barriers in the ongoing talks to peacefully address the border issue. He also said that the BrahMos will pose no actual threat to China's security, and China could even strike and destroy BrahMos missile silos and other military facilities in advance events. Maldives National Defence Force has said that 75 Indian military personnel will stay in the Maldives to operate the Dornier aircraft and two helicopters gifted to the Maldives by the Indian government. The officials have disclosed that 25 Indian military personnel had been tasked with flying the Dornier aircraft, and 25 pilots each for the two helicopters gifted by India. Oh, my God.